OLED Hearts, I'm back again. <laughs> it's so good to be here. I missed all of you so much. Um, I feel like it's been a while. I, I took a hiatus there um, that was unexpected. <clears throat> After the last reading, I, I want to say it was about a month ago. It was a while ago. Maybe, I think it was more than a month ago was my last reading. But I had very clear guidance. You know, the thing about this whole, doing this whole tarot thing is that I was spiritually led into this. This was not something that I um, was interested in or, you know, d dabbled in in any way. And I was kind of just really very um, heavily <clears throat> guided to start it. And and when I started it, it, it happened very quickly. I was thinking in my head, it was gonna take me years, but it only, you know, from, from the time that, from the inception of the idea to when I started Lit Hearts Love, I think it was only two weeks or something like that. I feel like I've talked about this before. But just as easily as spirit gave me the gift of reading energies, not that my gifts have gone, but spirit just took them away, you know? Like it was just like, spirit was like, okay, now you're not gonna do a tarot. <laughs> I was like, okay, that was a shock, you know? Because things, things were moving along, along swimmingly. And I wasn't expecting that, but it, it happened very abruptly. And um, I not only was I, I think it was more about me not being online. That's what it was, I think. I don't think it had anything to do with tarot necessarily because I did do some personal readings in between and they went very well, very well actually. So it's not like I, I, lost the connection it's that I think spirit wanted me offline because I wasn't they didn't want me posting on my other my regular page too my personal page so I was just like okay <laughs> now what <laughs> um and so I asked I said okay well what am I supposed to do now am I if I'm not supposed to do tarot and um I was guided to um, get certified in um, a particular technique in hypnosis. And that's been really amazing. I've really been enjoying that. I have done hypnosis in the past and it's through, um, it, the training is through someone who um, I have already been following, who I've already known a lot about. So I already knew a lot about it beforehand. I just didn't um, consider it to be something to pursue <clears throat> just like tarot but it's been really lovely and it's been um, very I've been very focused on it and and I'm and I have a new business um, I have a new office and I'm going to start taking in clients for that in the summer so that's very exciting so why am I here? I don't know, but I, I, I think I'm, I, all of a sudden it feels like my tarot block was lifted just today. And so let's do it. <laughs> I don't, you know, I can't, pro I have no promises because this is so heavily based on, um, my spirit, my spirit guides that I have no idea if they're going to pull me from this or not. Um, but I'm, I am feeling guided to do a reading tonight. So let's get into it. Oh, and by the way, I do have the, a new website that I started. It's not finished. It's, it's, in, it's in the process of being created, but it's completed enough for me to have published it. So if you'd like to check it out, please do so. It's heallion.com, H-E-A-L-Y-O-N. Com. Okay, here we go. 
Let's do the thing. <clears throat> we have, I, I'm already forgetting what to do. How do we do this? <laughs> All right, we have energy oracle cards. We have Spiral. This is a new deck that I've never used called the Lover's Path Tarot. And then we're clarifying with the Cosmic Slumber. All right, let's begin. What's going on? What's going on? All right, Spirit. <clears throat> what message do you have for the collective from Energy Oracles? feels so good to do this. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. What message do we have for the collective tonight from energy? Caring connections. What is this? Somebody's getting their flowers. Ooh. All right, let's see what it says. Fourteen. Friendship, partnership of two, possible love. This card shows a couple in a tender embrace with a woman holding the blossoms of new love. Like the community card, this reveals a caring connection, but usually between two people only. This card upright signals the beginning or deepening of a kindred spirit friendship or even the appearance of new love. It can also signify a formal business partnership. When this card appears, be on the lookout for new connections presenting themselves. The relationships you already share may become more intimate, purposeful, or present at this time. Notice the opportunities to forge new or deeper bonds. There may be a tender karmic connection at hand. Hmm. Okay, so someone might be getting into either a new relationship. They might be opening up with, um, I'm thinking of like a business, business partnership. It feels maybe both. It feels like both. Um, but it might start out as a friendship possibly. Very light but it might turn into something with karmic connection. It's something planned, something from possibly a previous lifetime. Definitely from a previous lifetime. <laughs> and there's some sort of fulfillment that is destined with it. So you'll know because you'll feel with karmic connections and the word karma, it doesn't have to be it doesn't have to be bad. You know, we use karmic in a negative sense, but karmic just means that there's something that needs to be um, either healed or there needs to be some sort of um, a flipping, a flipping of the script in a sense. So if, if it's from a previous lifetime, if in, in the previous lifetime there was one dynamic, there might be a flipping of the script so that the souls can experience the opposite dynamic in the next lifetime or something needs to be healed from the previous lifetime, things like that. All right, but you'll know because there will be, there will be a feeling of familiarity. There will be a feeling that you know each other already. <clears throat> and spiral. Spirit, what message do you have for the collective from Spiral today? Two, 
compassion and the sacred feminine. There's the sacred feminine. So someone might be getting into, into their feminine energy, into the energy of compassion, or this connection that is about to be experienced is going to facilitate um, the, these energies in their, the other person's life, in your life. I'm feeling the energy of not reading what it has to say in the book here. Uh, maybe not. Maybe not. Let's read it. I just feel like it's pretty self-explanatory. But there's, there's, <clears throat> yeah, it is. There's some sort of, within this caring connection, because, see, we have caring here, we have compassion here and the sacred feminine. There's some type of energy within this connection that is healing, um, that is gonna bring forth this energy of, um, see, like it just feels like loving, like safety, like um, you can relax, you can let go, um, you can open up. Um, yeah. And it's going to heal, be healing, to the feminine energy within the connection or within one or both of the people in the connection. <clears throat> yeah. All right, let's 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 keep going. Let's do the tarot. Very exciting. Spirit, what message do you have for the collective from the Lover's Path Tarot? Fortune. Wow. Four of Cups. Ten of Arrows in Reverse. Ten of Cups. Interesting. One more, please, Spirit. Five of Staves. Hmm. Six of Cups. Okay. being the overall energy and again with the kar karmic connection here it feels like this is this is destined in the sense that these two do come together in some capacity but there is definitely with the five of staves and this being the final card here there is a lot of conflict around this connection um and I don't know if you feel, if this is someone you feel that you're in conflict with now, or if this connection is going to bring about some type of conflict. But, so, so there's either two possibilities here. There's two possibilities. The first possibility is that Whatever this connection is, 
it's going to bring forth balance in order to heal an energy of rejection in the past. So like, um, if you, if, if you have experienced lessons in rejection in the past where, where it's something that's like a reoccurrence for you and you're not sure why, and there's something about this connection that's going to heal that <clears throat> because you're not rejected. That's the main thing I'm getting here. You're not rejected. And I don't know who we're talking about this, either the sacred feminine or the person who's coming into union with a sacred feminine isn't rejected one or the other, because this connection is going to bring forth unity and balance. And it might develop into something more, even though it's karmic. Like I said before, the car, the karmic part of it might be, to create some type of a new destiny um, that is different from the previous lifetime in order to heal from it. <clears throat> but because we're ending with this five of staves and we'll get, you know, we'll clarify because we're ending with this five of staves. Um, like I, like I said, I don't know if this is causing turmoil outside of the connection or this connection of coming together is going to be tumultuous. And if it is, then, you know, that's okay. It's as, because we have sacred feminine and compassion and caring here. I feel like it's, it's healing that possibly. Hmm. Yeah. With the Ten of Arrows, I don't know, like I said, I don't know if this is a new person or not. The Ten of Arrows being in reverse makes me think that it's not a new person. It makes me think that it's some, some sort of an ending is not over. Something that was ended before is coming back around. And that might be from the previous life. There may have been a harsh ending in a previous life. And, and that's what's being healed in this life. <clears throat> All right, let's see. Let's clarify. Yeah, four of arrows, healing. Look, and these two, they're two together. These two are healing together, this connection. Sacrifice. Eight of cups, strength. Spirit. Clarify the Six of Cups, please. Two of Pentacles. Clarify the Six of Cups. Strength. Bottom of the deck, Three of Cups. Okay. So I'm going to take this um, reading from the perspective of the divine feminine. I feel that the divine feminine is maybe the one who is in multiple cards here. The feminine in the image is facing away from the masculine. So whatever this ending is, like I said, it could be somebody new coming in, but I don't think so because this feminine is facing away. So here she's facing away. And also here in the Six of Cups, she's facing away. And <clears throat> here with the um, Fortune, she's alone with her spirit guides, with a spirit guide. But here with Balance, see they're together with this red ribbon around them. <clears throat> 
So this may be somebody that the, that the divine feminine feels they have to protect themselves from. Um, they don't, they feel there's some type of a choice that really, they feel like They feel like <clears throat> the, 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 it's sort of because she's putting her hand in the lion's mouth here, right? There's this energy of not knowing whether or not she can take this chance. She can open up to this person, um, probably because of the ending, probably because of the rejection in the past, not feeling safe. And that's the concern. And with the Three of Cups, either this person put them in a third party or they feel that all they can offer is a friendship. And maybe that's why before with caring connections, maybe that's why we're getting the energy of starting off as friends and then it building from there because maybe that's all that can be offered. <clears throat> hmm. All right, clarify fortune, please, Spirit. The Empress. Clarify fortune, please, Spirit. Eight of Swords. Ace of Cups. Hmm. Yeah. So this Divine Feminine Empress energy, they feel, um, since this is the beginning card, this might not be current, this might be past energy but they feel like when it comes to their emotions, they're trapped. They can't show their emotions. Um, they're, they're not free. Mm -mm. No. And because of that, they're either, they're being guided spiritually to be in the energy of being more free with, with their truth, maybe through music. Maybe that's why she's holding a guitar here. <clears throat> she's being asked to express herself because she might have a lot of trapped emotions in her body. Yeah, because of either, because of this karmic connection. Yeah, so, so far it feels like a person from the past. Yeah. All right, let's keep going. Clarify balance, please, Spirit. Four of Pentacles. Clarify balance. Ace of Pentacles. King of Swords. All right, so here's the masculine energy. So this masculine energy is, is being, maybe they had an opportunity with this divine feminine, but they held back. They didn't do the right thing. They didn't, they didn't speak on it. Um, And maybe that's the issue. But this King of Swords is upright. Well, they're the bottom of the deck, so it's the overall energy. Five of Pentacles. To restore balance, they, they can't restore balance in this Four of Pentacles energy. So it's odd that the Four of Pentacles is here and upright as um, a clarification to balance. Maybe they felt like 
in order to balance this connection, they, they couldn't, or maybe I'm reading the, the feminine's energy that she has to hold back when it comes to this King of Swords in order to stay balanced. It's one or the other. Not sharing. Um, it just feels like this keeping to myself. It feels like holding a grudge. Um, it feels like See, again, I'm just noticing this again. She's looking at us here in the picture and he's looking at her. So it's almost like feeling like needing a way out, moving past. Again, with the four cups, I really feel like I'm reading the feminine energy here because here she is with the four cups. <clears throat> So she's probably the one rejecting it because of something that happened in the past. But this Ace of Pentacles, there's an opportunity for balance that's being offered at this time. And that might be what this reading is. <clears throat> but I don't think this feminine trusts this person. They're king of swords, so, you know, they're very analytical, they're very intelligent, um, but these are pentacles here, right? So there's no emotion. That's why this feminine's emotional energy is trapped, because she can't open up to someone who's not in their emotions, who's not tapped into their emotions. That's not safe. That's why she feels unsafe here with the strength card. Yeah. Like maybe they they feel like they that they that the masculine wants something from them, wants to take from them, wants to keep them contained because that ace of cups, I didn't show the card. Um, but the ace of cups that came out as the overall energy here with the fortune, she was in in a cup. She she was reaching out. It's that it's the deck where she's trapped in the cup itself. <clears throat> So maybe she feels like they're going to trap them. Um, that's a possibility as well. All right, let's see. Let's keep going. Clarify Four of Cups. Maybe Spirit's asking this person to be more compassionate and caring towards this connection. Queen of Swords. The morning. The devil. Three of pentacles. Yeah. Yeah. With the devil showing up here with the four of cups. Um, Queen of swords. Something was done that caused something to be released. Um, hmm. See, they're coming up matching now. Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords, King of Swords. Um, okay, so in order for, okay, Spirit's telling me, in order for there to be a new beginning, there has to be a release of the toxicity. There's some sort of um, either obsession. It could be obsession. It could just be codependency. Um, it could be a, a holding a grudge. I picked up on that too. It could be um, the focus not on the emotional, but on um, holding back, not giving, being selfish. All of those things are possibilities, but I feel like in order for anything to happen, there has to be some type of a letting go of, of that energy, but there's a holding on to it still. Yeah. From the feminine side. Mm-hmm. Yeah.
it's either that or they feel like that's that's why we end with this five of wands we end with this five of wands because they feel like if they were to um be in this caring compassionate energy that they naturally feel that would cause turmoil that would cause some type of um codependency um eh. i'm not picking up on that scenario though as much as the first one i said that doesn't feel right there's the ace of cups again Yeah, there has to be a releasing of, of the previous foundation completely. Because these two are bound to whatever that was. Yeah. Especially the feminine. Yep. All right, let's keep going. Clarify Ten of Cups, please. the emperor, seven of pentacles, three of torches. Mm. Yeah. So this feminine feels like whoever this person is who did this is, they don't know who their, who their emperor is. They don't feel like it's this person. They feel like this person is karmic. Um, they feel like this person, um, they're holding a grudge. They're still, they're still very much in a toxicity energy when it comes to whatever this connection is. She's facing away. She thinks it's karmic. She thinks it's, they want to take from her. They're going to hold back. Um, she's not safe. All kinds of things going on. So if this person is coming towards them, which I don't see here, I don't see that. I feel like maybe we're just in the mentality of this. I'm getting a ringing in my left ear. Maybe they are. I don't know. Um, but <clears throat> but maybe they're in the mentality. I was going to say um, maybe we're just, it, this is like a snapshot of their internal structure in regards to this. But it feels like. Whoever this, if this emperor is this king of swords energy, they do give this person a lot of happiness. And that's why maybe they're not able to open up emotionally because they feel like they can't, they're not being, it's not being reciprocated or something like that. Either that or they, they are just not sure. Um, they're not sure. Mm. Yeah. It's a weird energy here. It's like there's an overwhelming happiness, but there's an energy of it not can't be from this person. But it is this person, but it's not this person. It's sort of like that. Is it this person? No, it's not. The, it can't be this person. Mm. This is dead. See, that's why this emperor has this head, you see? Whatever that is. But it's a skull. It's dead. So there's this energy of where where is this going to lead? This is just going to lead to a more problem with five of staves here. Hmm. Okay. Regardless of how, how, um, emotionally abundant it feels, even though it doesn't seem it's, there's no emotional abundance here. There is this 10 of cups, but maybe it was some, let me look closely at this card. Yeah. They're both under here looking up. See, it's again, the feminine and masculine here. They're very small in this picture. But again, she's looking out in this picture as well. He's behind her. He's behind her here. He's behind her. Where was it? There was another place. <clears throat> I thought it was, oh, here it is. Here, she's looking down. 
Um, so it's again here. Feeling unresolved. Hmm. Feeling like it's like, it feels like an energy of walking into the abyss. There's no, there's no happy ending. There's, even though the Ten of Cups is here, it's more like it's maybe an illusion. Or maybe there was a lot of happiness in the past, but whatever happened, if something happened with this Ten of Swords, it was too much, too burdensome. All right, let's continue. Ten of Torches, torches yeah, too burdensome. The hanged one. Mm -hmm. All right, clarify ten of arrows in reverse, please, spirit. Clarify ten of arrows in reverse. Four of torches. Huh. Clarify ten of arrows in reverse. The hanged one. Yeah. Four cups. Yeah. Ace of torches. I don't know where we are in this, but it feels... We don't have a two of cups out here. Um, this is about this connection, some sort of a reunion, but it doesn't feel likely here. It's a caring connection. There's there, there maybe was a lot of compassion. There was a lot of happiness, but something happened that caused stagnancy, that caused um, someone or both people to not feel not know the tr not understand the truth of the connection why it happened the way it did um feeling um maybe very lonely feeling like there's like it, it's sort of giving me the energy of um empty empty yeah but with the ace of torches here there's maybe um someone is driven by hope <clears throat> Um, driven by an energy of the possibility. Still, two of torches, yeah. Well, there's these two doors here and we have the two of pentacles here. So um, I don't know if this is the feminine it feels like the feminine has some sort of a decision to make in regards to this connection. So it might be coming in, I don't know. Hmm, all right, clarify five of saves. Seven of torches, clarify five of saves. pentacles three of torches again ten of torches yeah i haven't done tarot in so long i forget what a card is <laughs> This feminine, I, like I said, I really do feel it like I'm reading the feminine's energy. I feel like they're, they feel very conflicted. 
I feel like they don't see it just again it just feels like I'm looking out into an abyss and that's maybe where she is because in all the cards she's facing away he's facing her but she's facing away but it feels like away is nothingness and all she has to do is just turn around you know and see that they're there but she's not again she's facing away from them see there's this hand here she's looking this way So this just feels internal. It feels like one or both of these people, because this is coming up, because we're even having a reading on it in the first place, means that there's some sort of an importance to it. it means there's something here to learn because it is karmic. And because of that, there needs it's something about releasing from the past, um, being able to heal, being able to mm, I really feel like this feminine thinks this person is going to take from them, is going to steal from them. Um, want something from them is not going to give um, and and maybe they're right about that but what are they doing then because they're just looking out because I keep getting this visual of them looking out into nothingness like there's nothing there because they aren't turning around so I don't know if they're supposed to turn around the chariot yeah maybe they are ten of cups but they haven't released something yet. They haven't released something. And so I don't know if they're there yet. I don't know if they can. Yeah. All right, well, <clears throat> something to think about. And I love you guys, and I can't wait to come back here. Hopefully, I, I can. Hopefully, I'm still open to doing, I'm still getting the, you know, the go-ahead, and I'm open and free flowing in my energy <clears throat> to come on here. And I hope everyone has a wonderful rest of your day or night, and I'll see you next time. Bye.